Hi guys! Today's makeup look is going to be a Katie Price inspired look. Now for those of you who don't know who Katie Price is, she's an ex-glamour model. I don't think she does glamour modelling anymore. Who's pretty famous in the UK, or infamous actually, but whether you like her or hate her, I think we can all agree she's definitely got an interesting makeup style. Like most glamour models, she favours the makeup. Glamour is very over the top, very almost too much if you know what I mean. But anyway, that's the look we're going to do today. I'm not doing this off a particular look. I've just sort of looked at what she normally wears and how heavy she wears it. She tends to wear lots of colours. I've seen purples, golds, like greys. She doesn't really just stick to one thing, but it's always heavy. Without further ado, let's crack on. I'm first going to start by moisturising my face because we're going to be applying a lot of products to it. So I'm going to use this little pot cream thing by Clinique. Now, the Glamour look favours a pretty flawless complexion, quite heavy foundation. I'm going to use this Mineralize foundation by MAC. This is an NW15, and I do believe it's got the most coverage out of all my foundations. Taking my foundation brush, this is a MAC 191. Getting the product on that, and then I'm just going to put this all over my skin. The shade I'm using is NW15, as even though I have subtle yellow undertones, I find NC and C make me too yellow, so I have to use this and then use the yellow concealer. Now I love this brush because you can get in all the nooks and crannies. That sounds awful actually. I've got quite a red nose from my hay fever. My eyes are pretty red and they're very sensitive today, so fingers crossed the makeup's going to go alright. Taking that right up into my hairline, back onto the ears, underneath the neck and the chin, over the eyelid and eye bone area. You can really see the difference this side and this side which looks much redder. After doing that you then want to take your sponge or your fingers either or do and just smooth out. I'm not going to conceal yet as because we're going to be doing such heavy eye makeup chances are I'm just going to make a mess anyway. But I'm going to take a little bit of yellow concealer. I'm taking my Derma palette. I'm using a MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to pop this around the eye area as chances are I will end up with some redness there which we don't want coming through our makeup and the yellow is just going to help to mask the redness. Now Katie's eyes more often than not pretty dark so I'm going to take a black eye pencil this is a one super shop gel liner in black shimmer I'm actually going to pop this through my crease I've taken it also a little bit along the upper lash line and it doesn't have to be neat because we are actually going to smudge it out. You can use any brush, I'm just going to use this pencil brush. As you can probably see, mine is not the neatest at all, but don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be neat. It's just going to help intensify that colour when you come to apply some eyeshadow. You, know, you might need to reapply in certain places. And make sure that it's the same depth on each eye. Obviously if you can get it neater it's going to make your job slightly easier but it's not the end of the world if it's a mess. I mean mine is so messy. I'm also going to take some of that black underneath the eye. What I love about this eye pencil is it's so easy to smudge which makes it perfect for doing things like this. So after you've done that you're going to want to take some eyeshadow. You can choose what colour you want to use but I'm going to use classic silvery grey colours. And I'm actually going to use my Urban Decay Naked palette. I'm going to use these two mainly, so that's gunmetal and creep. I'm going to start by taking gunmetal and just pressing that all over my lid. These are pretty shimmery shades, but Katie likes her shimmer. Even the eye pencil had some shimmer in it. Just blend that colour out in the socket. Good trick is to blend when your eyes open, because that way you can make sure one, you can see what you're doing, but you can also make sure it's going in the right place. Katie quite often goes for a wing, so I'm just winging out with my shadow. Or should I say Gary, her makeup artist? If I zoom you out, you'll see the two eyes look a bit like this. Whilst I'm here to help with my blending, I'm going to take a highlight colour. Now Katie will sometimes have quite a frosty highlight. I'm going to use from the same palette Virgin. I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone. And then I'm just taking my brush again. Uh, that I used to blend out the silvery grey colour and just doing a little more of a blend. Taking MAC 239 and some of Gunmetal. Sorry, it's not helpful for me to zoom you out, is it? But it helps me to do it. Popping that underneath where we smudged out that black. Then going to take an LY38 brush with some of Creep, which is that black colour, through the crease. 
blending brush and you're just going to want to blend again that colour as hard as it is try and remember that this is glamour you want to look like you have loads of makeup on Casey always looks like she has so much on taking my MAC 239 again popping some of that black underneath going back to my liner the Avon one do the waterline this liner isn't great for contact wearers so just keep that in mind but any black's going to be brilliant also if you can bear it do underneath I hate doing this but it's got to be done also take some of this liner along the top of your lash line and then also connect it in here it's gone a bit far under my nose so I'm just going to take my finger and use that just to really gently smudge that out okay I'm going to zoom you out now personally it's easier for me to see it as a collective whole and see what I need to work on I'm going to curl my lashes I'm going to use this Shur Yamura eyelash curler I hope I said that right then I'm going to use a big impact mascara, this is the Maybelline Colossal Volume. Quite honestly, this could not be called a Katie Price look without a great big pair of lashes. These are by Stargazer, they're quite inexpensive, but they're also quite good quality. Now these are, as you can see, pretty thick. Katie seems to wear about four layers of lashes. I'm not going to put that many on, I'm just going to use these great big whacking huge ones. Then what I'm going to do actually is just take the bits I've cut off the ends, just put it at the outer corner just to make it a bit thicker. Okay, annoyingly I've managed to lose the other end. I'm sure it will turn up in a bit, but I want to go to bed soon so I'm just going to tidy up my foundation and crack on with the rest of it. But that's why this eye looks a lot more thick than that one. So I'm taking a blob more foundation. Actually whilst I'm here I'm just going to go for a tiny bit of some layering. I'm going to take this Illamasqua cord of the liquid metals. I'm going to take that silver. I love these but they crease really easily so just keep that in mind. I'm going to take a pencil brush and applying it to my inner corner. Also just going to put a little bit through the centre of my eye. Take my finger and just dab at it. Careful you don't disturb your eyelashes like I accident caught mine a second ago when I was applying it at the inner corner. Just remember as well with your foundation you want a thick layer. It's Katie Price does not do natural foundation. Although I personally think she looks better when she wears less makeup. Taking my 224, taking that yellow concealer from the Derma I used earlier. Going to tidy up my under eye area. Get rid of those nasty circles. I'm also cheating a little bit and using concealer to tidy up the edge of that makeup. Important to conceal around the nose. I'm really annoyed I can't find the other end of that. It's got to be here somewhere. I bet I'll find it after I finish. I'm just concealing anywhere else that I need it. I'm going to apply this now because I'm actually going to use powder products to do my cheeks. But this is a highlighter from Topshop. It's their Skin Glow. It looks like this when it's on your hand, comes in a tube like this. I'm going to take a very small bit. This gives you a lovely pink highlight to the hand the hand and um, pink highlight when you use it and I'm just going to apply this up my cheekbone but because this is a cream product I'm applying it before I powder so we don't end up looking cakey. Glamour makeup and Katie definitely can be quite fond of a highlight. I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose even though I hate my nose because I've got a bump. The cupid's bow a little bit, a little bit on the chin and I'm just using that 224. I'm going to powder now. I'm going to go for my Lakira Press powder on a big fluffy powder brush all over my face especially on the T-zone. I'm going to use Avon's Earth and Rose blush to contour my face. I'm going to use my favourite MAC 138 tapered brush, although it's not as tapered as it was. I'm going to use the Benefits Dandelion on my cheeks. I'm just going to use the brush that's provided. Get the apple and just take it up. Everything in Glamour is more. Just think more. I'm going to do a little bit of contour temples. A little bit underneath to sharpen up my jawbone. Now one of the things most recognisable about glamour makeup is the eyebrows. Especially Katie's. Katie's eyebrows are always so strong. Brush through and then I'm going to fill them in with this which is Max spiked brow pencil. Okay so I've done my brows. Um, I do believe Katie has hers tattooed on so that's sort of the effect you want to achieve if you want to look like Katie Price. Personally I can't say I love the tattooed on look but there we go. And then the last thing we get to are the lips. Wipe away any lip balm I have on. Reapply my foundation just to make them 
pale down, get rid of some of my own natural lip colour. Shade I see Katie in most is nude lips. I'm going to use this MAC lip pencil, it's called Dervish, and I'm going to line my lips. I see Katie a lot in light pinky colours. I'm going to use this colour here, which is MAC Snob. Sorry, it's melted into my palette. Just conceal around the edges to tidy my lip up. And then the final touch of this look is a little bit of gloss, as it would not be Katie Price without loads of lip gloss. And a sparkly one at that. I'm going to use some of this. It's Max Lip Jelly in Scintillation. Looks like this. It's very glittery. Okie dokie, so this is the finished look. It's just basically lots and lots of makeup. Not sure what went on with my contour, it's a bit all over the shop, really. I blame the lighting. <laughs> no, joke. I hope you've liked this and you found it interesting. Thank you to whoever requested it. I also want to say as well, if you have requested anything in the past, I'm going to be putting a video up soon asking for your request. Could you just write it again below? Because I've got so many and I keep losing track of them. Thank you for watching. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.